Hi all, welcome to another art video. I came across a situation where I have to paint smoke. So I thought that would be a great video idea for today. To paint smoke, I'll be using uh, two mediums. Uh, one is a water-based medium and the other one is an oil-based medium. The water-based medium is acrylics and the oil-based medium is oil pastels. Okay, so let's start with acrylics. You might have noticed that it's really hard to see smoke against a light background or a white background like the sky for example. So this is something to keep in mind when you're painting smoke. So that is why I have chosen a dark background and what you're going to have to do is to put a little bit of white paint on your palette and mix it with a lot of water. You want to make sure that your paint is thin. So add a lot of water or any other paint solvent that you're using. I'm giving you a close-up now. Hopefully you can get an idea how thin the paint should be. So when it comes to this consistency, it's best to take a dry brush. Just keep in mind to kind of drag it over the surface like this. And make sure you do not add a lot of paint to a single spot. And you know how smoke has this um, transparent quality. So uh, it should not be a block of white color it should be thin and it should not also be consistent because smoke is thin in some places and thicker in other places i painted this background using acrylic paint but you can do the same using watercolors but unlike acrylics watercolor layers that you put on top can mix with the bottom layers so if you do this using watercolors you might have to be a little bit more careful but I have done this using watercolors too and it works just as well. Once one layer is dry, you can go over it uh, and uh, put another layer on top of it. And kind of repeat that process. I cannot tell you just how many layers you might need. I think you will have to use your best judgment and just keep adding layers until you feel like it looks like smoke. Alright, so now we're coming to oil pastels. I'm going to do the same thing using oil pastels. Your oil pastels have to be very creamy and soft for this to work. So in my example, I'm going to use Sennelier oil pastels, which are probably the creamiest oil pastel bands out there. I'm again using my acrylic background and you just have to put a little bit of um, pastel over here and then use your finger and just blend it over the surface. So Sennelier obviously blends like a dream. <laughs> you won't have any problems with Sennelier. So when you are blending, uh, again, try to blend it across the surface so that it spreads out. And you don't get a, like a huge block of color in one, one place. So I can tell you that the harder the oil pastel brand is, the more difficult it might be to recreate this effect. Alright, so I hope you got an idea how to paint smoke and very soon I'll be doing videos on how to paint sunlight. It's pretty much a similar technique. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching this and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe now. Thanks again for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.